Hello everyone, Amade is here and today I have a special episode shot on location and it's double special because I also have a guest, Dafon, who is here. Hello everyone. So today we are at the iconic place in Taiwan, which basically any good story that starts in Taiwan has some part taken in this place. It's called 7-Eleven. 7-Eleven is a convenience store here, which is a bunch of them, but the most popular is this one. So today we decided to share our stories how 7-Eleven different is in, in Taiwan than in other countries and also discuss what are the products that foreigners and Taiwanese couldn't even exist if they don't have them at 7-Eleven. So let's get started. Do you have 7-Eleven in your country or convenience stores in your country? No 7-Elevens in England. No, not Convenience stores but they're not very convenient because they close at 6 p.m. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that's a, that's a, that's a quite a hassle. That's a problem. Yeah, in, in Poland we have one that is the most famous and actually I was talking to one lady working at Family Mart and uh, the Polish convenience store is importing the technology and like know-how from Taiwan because they kind of find out it's the best in the world. So I think a, so. It's a good direction. Yeah. So you've been to other 7-Elevens around? Many. In we, Australia yeah. they have many. In Thailand, Australian 7-Elevens are not very good. Thailand 7-Elevens are very small. Australian ones, they just don't sell many things. Oh. They sell coffee, but apart from that, they don't have much of a selection of uh, items that you can buy or snacks or food. Just coffee only. Oh, that's not, that's not too much. That's more like a gas station in Europe. That's say. right. You know, I've been to like Japan, to Hong Kong, Macau, Philippines, and other places they have 7-Eleven, but nothing is quite as good as here, you know? And the biggest surprise is like most Taiwanese live in Taiwan and they think, well, you know, like, they take it as a granted, like 7 and has this yeah, and that, mm. like it has seats, you know. But one day I was, you know, sightseeing in Osaka and I was like, oh, what I gotta do now? I have like a break, so I'll sit down at the, the nearest convenience store. I had to walk one hour. Ay, oh. This is really That's like, un unthinkable, you know. Also, not only you can buy food here, but you can book your HSR train ticket, you yeah. can pay your gas bill here, you can even book a taxi here from the computer. I mean, you can do everything in 7-Eleven. This is mad, you know, yeah. like you can get anything you could think of at 7-Eleven. The service in Taiwan is so good. I, I, I actually think like 7-Eleven or like convenience store clerks are one of the most underpaid jobs in Taiwan. They do the jobs of maybe 50 people. At least 50. At least 50 people, yeah. This is crazy and yeah. it's really like great respect and we are very thankful for your hard work. Yes. I went to Hong Kong after living in Taiwan for three years and I, you know, I look for the food in this in a fridge. Oh, I find something and I'm looking for microwave oven. And as in Taiwan, you go to the clerk, you say, Whoa, is the Jarema? And I say the same in Hong Kong. I know they speak Cantonese, so I repeat in English. And he just looked at me and say, hey, micro ovens there. That's, that's like unthinkable yeah. in Taiwan. Yeah. Taiwan service is probably some of the best in the world. Okay, so after talking about the best 7-Eleven in the world, let's see what we have here. So, part one. Okay, yeah. Like, number one item from 7-Eleven, I love the most and I need the most, and it's the most useful is the coffee. I mean, it's not the best coffee in the world, definitely not, but for the price and convenience, it's the killer. Because, you know, I travel a lot, around Taiwan when mm. I do work or whatever and you know sometimes when you stay in a hotel you don't need to worry about coffee that much but if you stay at the at Minsu or something you know sometimes they have coffee sometimes they don't and for me like having no coffee like you don't want to talk to me before I have the first coffee no like, it's nobody terrible. wants to so what I have to do I find out there's no coffee in a place I stay I just close my mouth I go to the closest 7-eleven and get a coffee and five minutes later I'm fine I'm happy so thank you very much for this <laughs> yeah, this is a lifesaver. <laughs> so the next one is item number two and three. Let's start with this one. It's called onigiri, which I believe in Japanese it means rice triangle or something. Anyways, it's a rice triangle. And I actually love the design. If you see, see it here, like don't look at my face camera. Can you focus on it? All right. Uh, yeah, see one, the other one is two or three. I don't know, I don't see it from here. But anyways, this is the way you open, so you keep the product fresh and nice. So it's basically uh, the seaweed, dry seaweed with the rice and there is uh, some flavor to it. This one in particular is with tuna. But uh, what is nice, it, it's a simple meal, but they, because of the design they make it, like you don't touch, like the, the wet rice doesn't touch dry seaweed, so you have really nice and crunchy flavor. How about yours? What do you this have one is a slightly healthier option, but it's similar. 
it's rice with salmon. I love it actually because it just has some chunks of salmon inside and it's the perfect size. If you're hungry and you don't want to eat too much, yeah. you can just eat this and it's just right. You, yeah. Yeah. It's a, it's a great start of the day or snack any time of the day. And it's, it's cheap. Yeah, it's cheap. This one is, uh, I don't know, it's 30, 30 NT? Yeah. Thirty dollar, one US dollar. This one. Thirty three NT. Oh, this is the one the, euro. The, yeah, this is expensive one. This yeah, is expensive this one, is yeah. the five star. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but if you get a set with coffee, it's cheaper, I guess. They That's have true. this breakfast deal sometimes. All right, yeah. So I show you how to open. So don't mess it up. Number one, you do this. Then you do number two. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. No, you just pull both. Oh, time. that's how you do it. Oh yeah. Ah. All right, so that's why you have a dry one and crunchy. But I do believe I messed it up a bit, didn't I? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh my god, I, yeah. I, I need to do it more often, but uh, how about you? you this one, I think, is Look. easier. You just do this and then keep oh. going. Ah, oh, like okay, this. Yeah. And we made it. Yeah, yeah. This, one's, <laughs> this one's safer. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's like why it's it. more expensive. And then your oh, fingers fancy. won't touch it either, you know. Oh, it's very right. hygienic. But that's like a finger food. Yeah, like you yeah. enjoy it with your fingers as well. Mm. That is pretty nice. Mm. Yeah. Another great thing I think about 7 Eleven is actually, you know, you have international brands here, you know, like, you know, from Coca Cola to any, like, you know, like potato chips brand. But what, what Taiwanese 7 Eleven has is lots, lots of local cuisine, mm. and very traditional food. So, one of the like foods that comes from Taiwan is actually this one. It's digua, aka sweet potato, which is so called a super food all over the Western world. But the truth about digua in Taiwan is it used to be very cheap and very common food that actually nobody even wanted to eat for years and years until they discovered the health benefits. Fun fact: Taiwan actually looks like digua if you look at actually, the, but this one I don't that, think looks this like one Taiwan. doesn't. This so one yeah. maybe looks like um, Matsu or yeah. <laughs> uh, Shaliocho or something. Maybe, maybe. Yeah. So like, unfortunately, it is so popular that we only have one, so we have to split this one. Yeah, so yeah, like, we'll go halves on this one. Yeah. And this it's, one, it's, I, I it, didn't check. You see, it's very delicious. Yeah. It's, and it's, very healthy. They, they keep it in a, in a like, they, they keep Sealed heating it up. container. Yeah. It's very nice. All right. And you can eat skin as well. Yeah. Full of fiber. Oh, lovely. It's actually not that sweet as they call it sweet potato, you, you get confused, but it's pretty sweet. It's quite sweet. Okay, another one is... Uh, Taiwan. A, Taiwan egg. Oh, I don't know, it's like a tea egg. It's a this ta is the tai dan. Tai dan, yeah. So actually, the fun fact is, my wife was doing it at home, she checked the recipe, and one of the magic, majestic, and like, you know, like old school classic ingredients of making the, the, like the, the water for that... It's like, tea. It's tea yeah. and yeah. Coca-Cola. Oh yeah? Yeah. <laughs> but in Taiwan we use Coca-Cola to cook a lot of things as well. Yeah, it's yeah. very interesting. But anyways, it's where the meat... This is the cheapest thing you can buy in 7-Eleven, I think. Definitely. How much is it now? I think $10. $10. It used to be cheaper. It used to be cheaper when I first yeah. came to Taiwan. Yeah, it but it's cheaper. You know, you know, you know. Inflation is crazy. You yeah. know? It only goes like a, like an arrow on the, only goes on the up. clock, you know? Yeah. Only one direction, but yeah. But eggs are quite healthy and are full of protein. Yep. And if you need a snack sometimes, coffee, we just ate the sweet potato and some eggs. Yeah. It's actually a perfect little breakfast, you know? Yeah. Like missing on a carrots now. Yeah. But they have carrots here. Yeah, they sell vegetables <laughs> here now, yeah. I know. And salads. That's crazy. Yeah. Wow. Oh, they're really hot. You have to yeah. be careful. Otherwise, yeah. you'll, you'll burn your fingers. Oh, we waited like five minutes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, it's like a volcano. That's pretty good, huh? Ah. Oh, you will. Mm. Mm. Oh. Just so simple. Yeah, but it tastes nice. No, it's it's lovely. Mm. And actually, they're they're cracked on purpose because this way it can influence the flavor more. Yeah, and they so. really have a a real flavor. Mm. One of the things about the foreigners living in Taiwan, they usually have a problem with, or they're confused. It's when they finish work at 5 p.m. They would like to have a you know maybe a pint of beer just to mm. cool down, especially with this hot weather mm. here. You know that's really like sounds like a good idea. Yeah. So they walk around and where's the bar? There's no bar here. There's no bar there. But the truth is in Taiwan you can get a beer and drink it there with the air conditioner and at a really good price with a pr like very big selection of beers mm. at any convenience store. That's right. This one here, check it out. It's a German beer. Yes, we drink it from the top from the convenience store, so cheers mate. Very nice, cheers. <laughs> oh, Tastes very good. That's very Especially nice. Especially when it's uh, 30 degrees outside. Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah, but you know what goes good? 
You know what goes well with the beer? You need snacks with beer. Oh yeah, well, where, where are we gonna find snacks? Wait, wait. Where could you buy food <laughs> in this place? There's no way. No way. Know. Oh no, look, check oh. this out. We just got something here. Ah. ah. The local snacks. Obviously, if you want some lace or Pringles, you're gonna find this stuff there. Just but, behind you. Yeah. Yeah. But this one, it's still here. This goes and well with beer. Yeah, yeah. How much was this? Uh, I don't remember. This one, I don't know. I don't know. Not maybe true. you guys know. 50, maybe. Yeah, <laughs> maybe somebody know, knows. Know. The beer was, uh, I think, 85 or 85. 79. 79. 85. Yeah. In England, no, yeah. you have no chance. <laughs> <laughs> You can have a, like a quarter pint, maybe. Yeah, with yeah, water. yeah. The quarter, yeah, yeah. <laughs> anyway, let's try this. What is that? So these are cod. These are okay. cod. I'll show you. Okay. Cod from uh, the North Hokkaido. Sea. Yeah. Oh, I don't know. Maybe they're from Europe. I think from Hokkaido. Yeah, and it says Hokkaido. That's it. Well, I don't know. I am not an expert. I know it tastes good. That's all yeah. I know. But anyway, they go very well with beer, and they're very Moorish. Moorish just means <laughs> when you start eating them. You can't stop because they have a, <laughs> a nice flavor about them. Dangerous. Dangerous. Dangerous flavor, yeah. yeah. All right, this feels pretty easy. You want to go first? Oh, yeah. Nice. Thank you. Look at this. Yeah, it looks lovely. Yeah. Oh, oh yo. So much. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah. Really goes great with beer. Oh, I love the salty. The salty. And fishy unagi flavor. flavor. Mm. Oh, this is perfect. Mmm. Mm. Okay, really. Pretty nice for chewing. Okay, I just want to make it sure that this video is not sponsored by anyone. We just do it for fun because we love, you know, having 7-Eleven around the island and even in outlaying islands. Now they have it, I think, even in Penghu. I think they opened it already in Chime, one 7-Eleven. So it's Shariojo, Penghu, Mazu. Yeah, it's, it's amazing. Everywhere. Uh, and also one good thing about 7-Eleven that the prices are consistent, apart from very remote location, that it might be a little more expensive. Mm. And the selection of the stuff, you know, you can buy triple cheese sandwich in a 2,500 meters above the sea level mountains in Taiwan. So that's just just amazing and super convenient. So, to be honest, I think when if you ever been to Taiwanese convenience store, you just know all other convenience store around the world are inconvenient. Yeah. So these were the these were the six seven products. How many? I don't know. No. Like probably. Anyways, these were the products that lot. foreigners love and I guess lots of Taiwanese love it as well. Let me know which are your favorite and which are the products from 7-Eleven you cannot imagine your life without. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe to his channel, Dafong. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. Watch more videos because lots of videos are coming. So, see you next time. Goodbye. Bye-bye.